Hi everyone, I am back. I'm going to be adding in another one of these maps to my book. This one is all of the different shops and stuff along the little strip that's there in Branson. And we, on this trip, basically do Silverdale City and we do a lot of shopping. So that's kind of our thing that we do. That's one of the our goals is to shop a lot and to have some fun at the rides and stuff in Silverdale City. So because shopping is such a big part of our little excursion, I wanted to make sure I included this map of Branson in the book. And again, I'm just going to cover it up because I didn't really like what the outside looked like and I wanted to fancy it up a bit for the page. And then I'm going to end up using some very sticky tape to stick it to my book. And I was contemplating here, I didn't really want to cover up my pretty background page that I had already prepped. But in the end, I felt that this is going to look better if I just glued it all the way down. So I am going to cover that page up, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I am just stamp or punching, sorry, another one of those little tab punches that has the tree motif on it. And I'm going to add this tab in to the page here to just show that this page is flippable or to able to be opened. And I don't remember, I think on this one I don't actually put a word phrase, but I can't quite remember. So the paper pad that I picked out had a lot of flowers and stuff on it and they were just dying to be fussy cut. So I went through and I fussy cut quite a bit of things. I was thinking about using that green font there, but I decided not to. So you'll see me putting down the fussy cut things here in just a little bit. Um, actually, you know what? I think I put them on a different page. I apologize. This page, I don't think it's the fussy cut flowers. I'll have to remind myself once we get there. But here are some stickers. I think they're from Fancy Pants maybe. They say, or I uh, I printed out, or not printed, but I um, spelled out, sorry, the word shopping. And I really like, it was perfect. It was like a happy, happy thing that shopping fit exactly across the page like this. I was so excited. You know when those things kind of happen, they just, it's like serendipity, it just happened and it's awesome. So I'm taking this other piece of washi tape. It's got little plus signs on it. I don't remember exactly where I got this one. Um, maybe in a scrap test kit, I can't quite remember. But I just tore the edge of this as well and I'm gonna add the shopping right here along the edge and like I said, it fit perfectly and I was so happy. I have not used these letter stickers all that much so I was glad to be using some of them um, for my stash. And now I'm gonna take a couple of photos, I think two photos here and put them on the front of the map. And these are pictures that we had or taken while we were out shopping, the two one and a half days that we went shopping. And I am going to see about fussy cutting some other things on here. So I'm looking through the paper pad to see if there's anything I want to use. I ended up deciding I want to take this blue paper here and I want to use it as a mat because I liked how this went with that word shopping. So I'm gonna mount these photos here real quick and I'll mount them up and on the one bottom photo, I ended up keeping the one strip that had kind of a little detail on it and I didn't end up trimming that off and I kind of like how that was a place to rest some of my embellishments. So I'm just going through figuring out what I want to use to add some layering. This is a picture of my daughter with her American doll. She got a little outfit for her American doll at one of the stores we went to. And then the top photo is me and my daughter waiting for my mom. She loves to quilt, so she was in this fabric quilt shop and I swear she was in there forever. She was in there so long that we got so bored in the car that we decided to come in and find her. <laughs> and you'll see a picture of her later on, um, all of us sitting, or actually my daughter and her sitting at the counter, the cutting counter where they cut the fabric. So I decided I do want to cut out some of these flowers. So I fussy cut the flowers and I fussy cut some of these little birdies, which are adorable. And I'm going to use those as some like layering pieces, like they are die cuts on this page. So first I'm going to glue everything down in the way I want it. And then I'm going to add these little guys that I cut out here. And so I'm just going to play with them for a little bit just to figure out the way I like them. I think I'd end up not using the birds. I can't quite remember. I was having some difficulty getting the birds the way I wanted them to look on here. So I may have just ended up staying with just the flowers. I guess we'll see together. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. So yeah, that's what I did. So I ended up cutting out or printing out my journaling on some journaling strips. I think, yeah, I typed right did this on the typewriter. So just cut them in strips and I'm going to glue them all down to the front here and I'm going to not make you watch me glue all these down. So by the magic of video it is all done. Now I'm going to open up the map and like I did on a couple days ago where I put the pictures on the map kind of corresponding to the places we went. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do some journaling first um, on here. I'm just trying to figure out a place where I can do some journaling that won't cover up some important stuff that I don't want to cover up. I'm going to trim out this matte piece and then I'm going to put my journaling on top of it. I've already 
typed out my journaling, which you saw a couple of seconds ago, and I've cut them into strips, so I'm just going to add those strips to this square uh, piece of paper. So again, I won't make you watch me do all that, but I am going to mount this first on this blue to kind of correspond with the mounts that I had on the first page. And then you'll see here that I'm just going to trim this out, put those strips on, and then I'm going to end up working on the photos. And I believe I put two photos on this page. And again, because I had so many photos, I wanted to try to get as many photos as I could on each page, and this is a perfect way to do that. When you open up the map, there's other places to put those photos, and then that way I'm not adding a whole lot of bulk to the album. So I'm going to trim this down. It didn't quite fit, and then I'll mount that. And there, it works perfect now. So you're going to see me gluing all these little guys on, and then it's done. Yay! So I'm going to use some ATG gun and glue that down to the actual map. And I want to put some washi tape down here. I didn't want it to look floating, so I'm going to mount some or put some washi tape there and then put the photo on top, or not the photo, I'm sorry, the little journaling spot. And then the two photos that I add to the page, I'm going to add some of that washi tape there as well. So there's the photo of my mom and my daughter um, waiting at the cutting table where they're cutting the fabric. And then this is a picture of one of the restaurants. It's called Outback that we went to to eat. And I'm just going to mount them on the blue cardstock again to bring that blue in from the um, journaling spot and from the front page. Oh, and I have one more picture. I forgot. I have three pictures on this page. You see that picture of my daughter with the blue teeth. She was eating a snow cone, and so that was the end of our shopping trip. Or actually, that wasn't a snow cone. I think it was ice cream. It was like this crazy rainbow dyed ice cream, and so she is smiling with a big blue grin over there. And I'm just adding this washi because I thought it helped ground the photos a bit. And it just, it kind of drew your eye across. It's just very subtle, but it was just a little bit that I think looks good and a little pop on this page. So I am going to finish adding all these photos. And then that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you kind of some close-ups of what it all ends up looking like in the end. I'm going to glue this down with some sticky tape, this, this map on the page. I'm going to try to use this bird. I don't remember. I think I tried to get it in there, but I don't think it makes it. Nope, it doesn't make it to the page. So I want to thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys are joining this mini series. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions about any of the products I'm using or anything that I'm doing today, make sure you leave those in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. So anytime I get comments or anything from you guys, it makes me happy. So please leave those below. I'm going to glue this down here, and then that's pretty much going to be it for this particular page. Um, I'll show you some close-ups and then there'll be some still photos here at the end. Thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.